very warm welcome to all of you. My name is Louise Eklund and I'm absolutely thrilled to be here today at the head office of Cap Gemini with Paul Hermla and Ayman Ezat. We're going to be talking about the great performance and the progress that was made in 2019. And we'll be also looking ahead at why this is a singular moment in the history of Cap Gemini. Hello to both of you, first of all. How are Hello. you? Hello. Good. Um, this is a really remarkable moment. Uh, today marks the beginning of a new government structure for the group. Uh, Monsieur Ermelin, can you tell us a little bit more about that to start with? So, indeed, today is a special day for me. Uh, I became the CEO of the group early 2002, so 18 years ago. It's a long time ago. Serge Kampf and the board of directors gave me that role, that mandate, and I tried to do my best. So three years ago, I reached the age of 65, and I thought it was time to think about the succession. We start a, a careful process of selection. Ayman Ezat has been selected. I'm extremely delighted. Ayman has been working with me for 16 years in different roles. I know him very well. I think he will be leader the group needs. And I'm especially delighted that we could find a succession within the group because it's a strong signal for all the Capgemini talents. Mm -hmm. I mean, I imagine that taking the role of CEO is a momentous moment after 20 years experience in the group, is that right? Yes, more than 20 years. Of course, it's a very important moment in my career, in my life, as you can imagine. And first, I'd like to thank the, all the board of directors and of course, Paul, you know, for the confidence they're putting in me in terms of uh, leading the group in the, over the coming years. Uh, Paul has marked more than half of the group's history and of course stepping behind him is a tremendous honor and also a big challenge. But I'm sure that as a chairman, he will continue to support me and we'll continue to work together. Uh, of course, the group is, is lucky because the group is in an industry that, that's very important today for our economy and also for our society. We have to play a big role in terms of helping to transform and to grow the economy, but we also have a big responsibility as a group with digital in the transformation of society. And we have to be careful as well of its impact on society. And this is something we are very conscious of. 2019 was a good year. Let's talk about the performance and the True. achievements. Solid progression on all fronts. Growth, 5.3% growth. Margin, the ninth consecutive year of margin progression reaching 12.3%. So that was a sign of solid financial health, confirmed by a record cash collection reaching 1,288 million. And for the future, we grew our bookings by 11%, and we signed a splendid deal at the end of the year with Bayer, showing the ability and the trust client put in us to transform themselves. So a good year of progression that will help getting further. 2020, a little bit more complicated. Obviously, uh, there's a lot of people around the world, businesses around the world that have to deal with this crisis. How did you organize things at Capgemini? Uh, the important thing was a very quick reactivity from the group. You know, from day one, we have put in place a crisis cell involving all the function and all our businesses across the world to be able to prepare for the crisis and to be able to deal with the evolution of the crisis. First and foremost, our priority was the security and the health of our people. And we have dealt that in a great way. And I'd like to thank everybody to having ensured that and having followed the group guidelines in terms of making sure that our people remain safe and healthy and move to the work from home. The second part, of course, very important was to ensure business continuity for our client and to be able to maintain the level of service expected from them at all times. And we have been able to achieve that. And I'd like to thank all the talent and all the people in the group for their dedication to make that happen. But beyond that, we have also done a lot of contribution from a CSR front. Our teams have been involved in projects in a number of countries across the world with governments, with NGOs, with other companies to ensure that we're able to contribute to society in this very difficult period. And I'm very proud of what they have done. I imagine that the crisis called for you to rethink the way you work. It's always strange to think that a period of anxiety have also allowed us to lay foundation for new models. 
it's really a, a disruptive moment for digitization. So working from home, as Ayman just mentioned, but also if you think of online medical care, online retailing. So it's a period where we have learned, strangely enough, and notably learned new models of people management. Because when people work from home, you need to support them. You need to be close to them with different models. And we have learned how to work through video conferences and all new technology methods. I think this will probably help pushing the group a little further. I'm sure the efforts that the teams have made around the world has been considerable. Yeah, tremendous effort by the team. You know, f first, as I say, people, health and safety was the number one. But then the dedication in terms of what people have done to ensure client services has been tremendous. I mean, we had people configuring laptops, going and delivering them door to door for people who are confined to ensure that we are able to provide that level of service that our clients expect and to maintain basically their health and security. But beyond that, it was also how to try to maintain the business activity. You know, our teams continue to work with clients to help find solutions, to continue to sell, to expand the level of business that we have, providing solution and value to our clients. And this has been absolutely tremendous. And I'd like again to thank all the dedication and the people of the group for what they have done to ensure that Cap Capgemini remains a great place. Capgemini is also expanding at the beginning uh, of April. Altron became part of the, of the group. What new prospects does this acquisition open up? First point is the group is now strong, but having welcomed 50,000 new colleagues of 270,000 people that believe that technology can help the world and the society solve and address most of their challenges. But historically, we were more an IT company, information technology. With Altran, we welcome a large scope of new technologies and experts. This is a pursuit that will change the group, that will allow us to address new clients within our customer executive committee. This is something that has, will, has been considered by Ayman and myself all throughout 2019. It was a long process and we are both convinced it's a major step in the group trajectory. This is a, a strategic operation and, and I imagine a real accelerator for the group. Definitely, it's a big operation. It's a 5 billion euro bet for the group, but it is well positioned. We have carefully thought about our strategy in terms of intelligent industry and how to expand the scope of the group in terms of what we can do for our client, notably about bringing that big convergence between information technology and operation and R&D and engineering to be able to create new opportunities. We are really stepping into a gross industry where there is a lot of demand from client and that is important because it's a strategic transformation for our client around their operation. And with Altran, the group is very well armed to be able to take the leadership position around intelligent industry in the future. So for us, tremendous move with Paul to be able uh, to, to take advantage of that thing and provide basically a new growth opportunity for the group. Let's look ahead now. It's difficult to anticipate the future, of course. Um, can you tell us the principles that will shape your efforts? So the first point, we need to be clear. Building, designing, thinking the group next step will be the role of Ayman as a CEO. Personally, as the chairman of the board, with my colleagues of the board, we will consider his, what he is proposing. We will challenge him somewhat. We will weigh, we will help him, we will coach him, and then we will support him. But I'm pretty sure Ayman has in mind some of the next steps, and I'm very confident in the group for future days and years. Are you feeling confident to face the challenges that uh, 2020 will bring to us? I'm feeling confident after Paul's word. Mm -hmm. uh, but really, the last few weeks have really revealed the strengths of the group. The group has very strong culture, has very strong values since its foundation. And in a crisis, this really shows up. And I'm very proud of what the teams have been doing. And I'm very confident in the talent of this group. This group is made of people, and these people are talented. And that's what may give me the confidence, in addition to a very strong leadership. So with people, 
with the leadership in the group, with the talent in the group, I'm very confident about the future and the fact that we can take Capgemini to new highs. Thank you very much to both of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.